Wallace Simpson was one of the least likely people to become an artist. Born in rural North Carolina in 1919 as the eighth of 12 children, Simpson left school in the 11th grade. It seemed he would have his life chosen for him working on the family farm. But Wallace wasn't cut out for farm work, or maybe it wasn't cut out for him. His true calling was mechanic work. Wallace took to fixing and maintaining the farm's equipment, tractors, threshers, and pumps. He enlisted in the U.S. Army Air Corps and during World War II was stationed in the Pacific. While in the Northern Mariana Islands, he used salvage B-29 bomber parts to build a windmill that could power a washing machine for his company. After the war, he put his engineering skills to work by starting a house moving business with his brothers, and he designed and built much of the heavy lifting equipment they used. It wasn't until Wallace Simpson retired at the age of 65 that he became an artist. According to Simpson, he didn't want to be bored watching TV all day. So he began building what he called windmills in his shop. Making monthly trips to the local scrapyard, he would pick up iron and machinery parts that no one else wanted. Drawing on inspiration from traditional windmills and weather vanes, Simpson created kinetic sculptures that would catch the wind, move, and make noise. He would paint them in vivid colors and adorn them with reflectors cut out from old road signs. These spinning contraptions became known as whirly gigs, and the Simpson property in Lucama, North Carolina began to attract attention from local residents after Simpson began displaying them around the pond in the property. The area became known as Acid Park because of the spinning lights reflected off of passing cars at night. What began as a form of self-amusement became a source of pride. Wallace didn't intend for his contraptions to have an audience, but that audience found him. Word of mouth spread and with the dawn of the internet in the 1990s, people came from all over the country and the world to see Simpsons whirly gigs. In the fine art world, Vala Simpson is considered an outsider artist, referring to the fact that he wasn't an artist by education or trade. Outsider artists rarely find buyers because they're not connected to the art scene, but in Simpson's case, people did begin offering him commissions. Some of his pieces even fetched thousands of dollars. And the art world did notice. The American Visionary Art Museum in Baltimore and the American Folk Art Museum in New York both now count Wallace Simpson works in their collections. The 1996 Summer Olympics in Atlanta featured four of his whirly gigs. If you know anything about the weather in eastern North Carolina, however, you know there's wind and rain, humidity and hurricanes. Those forces can be brutal and they were taking their toll on Simpson's artworks over the years. As he neared his 90s, Simpson knew he couldn't keep them spinning forever. Luckily, the town of Wilson stepped in. Viewing Valla Simpson as a local hero and envisioning his art as a centerpiece to revitalizing downtown, a plan was hatched in 2010 to move over 30 whirly gigs from Lukama to a new park created just for them. With support from foundations and corporate donors, the Wallace Simpson Whirly Gig Park officially opened in 2017 and has begun to bring interest and business to Wilson's struggling downtown. On a nice day, you can grab a cold beverage at Casita Brewing and a bite from a local food truck. Have a seat on the lawn across from the park and just take it in. It's a great way to spend an afternoon. 